Welcome fans to USA Championship Wrestling, KC Gold alongside Lucky P. Larson. Esquire. Oh, uh, well, Lucky, this Thursday night, May 23rd, 6 p.m., the Buford Pusser Memorial Cup happens one more time down in Adamsville, Tennessee, and it is free to the public. That means it doesn't cost you people anything to come see Lucky P. Larson lead somebody to win the Buford Pusser Memorial Cup. Well, listen, the inaugural winner, Matt Riviera. Yeah, because I wasn't there. Well, This year, I will be there. I've cleared off my calendar. I tell you, one of my guys is gonna win the Buford Pusser Memorial Cup. The Star Twins are gonna be there. Blake Christian, Jake Law, Bam Bam Bundy, Matt Riviera, Chris Stiles, Big Gravy, all in Adamsville for the big Buford Pusser Memorial Cup. And you don't know who I'm bringing yet. Bert? Well, June 1st, you mentioned it, and I, there's some things I wanna talk about. First of all, one night tournament, there's going to be a new heavyweight champion, but the biggest news in the territory, Chris Stiles has been fired for what he did on the TV show of hitting me. So good riddance to him. Matt Riviera has not paid the bill, so I'm pulling him out of the tournament, and I'm going to put him in a match against the Boogie Woogie Boy, Gary Valiant, June 1st, but Riviera is no longer, no longer in the tournament. We're gonna have a 14-man battle royal, the last two slots. The two men left in the ring will fill out the bracket for the battle royal. But you got Matt Boyce and, and Jake Law defending against the beautiful bodies. You got something for everybody. Saturday night, June 1st, Jerry the King Lawler against the Moondog. Nothing like it live at Omen Arena. Welcome back, fans, to USA Championship Wrestling. And we have Blake Christian taking on Gunner Lane in our opening contest here tonight. All right, fine. Let's get to the point that really matters. Bert Prentice did not mention the key to that Omen Arena main event. The Moon Dog will have in his corner Lucky P. Larson, Esquire, oh. when he destroys Jerry Lawler. Well, that remains to be seen. I don't think your, your winning record against the King is very good. I think it's a uh, like- Hey, look at that. Blake Christian is about to do some flippity flop move. Oh, he did a moonsault and only gets a two count. Yeah. And uh, of course you want to talk about the match as soon as we start talking about your record versus the King. Oh, look, he's throwing him off and the ropes and he ducks under. Why don't you do your job? And, and There's a leapfrog. leapfrog and, and what uh, is this? Come on, Lucky, call what, it. What call is it. that? What that, is it? That's a move that didn't quite work. Turned into an Alabama slam and then a rollover pinball. One, two, three. And he only a two well, count. Well, if Escobar was down there, if he could have gotten himself down, it would have been a three and count. Gunner Lane taking a shot to the back to Blake Christian. Well, that was different. That was a corkscrew elbow forearm. drop. Forearm. It was an elbow drop. Was it? Yes. You sure? Positive. I doubt that. I don't, th I, they hate put about one thing you've been positive about. And Gunner Lane setting up Blake Christian. That you're bald? Well, no, that you're ugly. Uh-huh. And ooh, Blake Christian with a roll through across Gunner Lane and a double stomp to the midsection. Yeah, he's quick there, isn't he? Yeah, he's Still light, not enough. He's lightning quick, that's for sure. Yeah, Blake Christian. Takes more than speed. And it does take more than speed. It takes knowledge, speed, and skill. See, and there was and, knowledge right there. And oh, oh look at what that. a drop kick! I think Blake's hand just went through the curtain. And one Gunner goes Lane. up, must oh. come down. Now cover him. Count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. See, that should have been an eight count. Only a two count. That's because Escobar can't count. And well, I think you tend to count a little bit too fast there, Lucky. It's supposed to be. A cadence, you know, it's supposed I to be the seconds. Yeah, it's supposed to be seconds and not milliseconds. He's taking too long up and, there. And uh, Gunner Lane going for a diving hit, yep. but I told you, and Lucky Pilar's nobody right home, again. right again. And Blake Christian, he's pulling his hair. You saw it. He pulled his beard. Well, Blake Christian. Uh oh, oh, Ooh. good time. Driving night. him down. I predict it's over. Two, three. The winner of the match, Blake Christian. Well, business just picked up here at USA Championship Wrestling, hot live and otherwise from Little Rock, Arkansas, ladies and gentlemen, Cassandra Golden. We are so proud to have you here. I'm so excited to be here. I've heard. They already love you. I know. 
I'm so excited to be here. I've heard so much about the company. I'm just so ready to show everybody what I can do. How long have you been wrestling? You know, I've actually been wrestling for about two years or so. That's a, whoa, whoa, whoa. Why on earth are you wasting your time with her? Do you know who I am? I got, well, I know you're Haley Shadows, but I didn't know you were in the building, but we're conducting an interview. Please step up. You know, Cassandra coming up, the big card at Omen Arena. No, I don't think you heard me. I'm the Barbie killer, Haley Shadows, and this is my territory now, Cassandra. No, come on. <laughs> it's not your territory. Let me have this interview. We'll gladly talk to you later. So anyway, I know you wrestled it. One thing that you can learn and you can learn this is not just my territory. I do what I want. Oh, oh, oh. Hey! Oh, hey! Bert? I need some Bert. help out here! Somebody get some. Bert is shying away from this. Uh, I'm Bert shies you. away from this. Let me get in the middle of it. I'll break him up. Well, fans, here we go. Big tag team action as Jake Braddock and the sellout Daniel Nova taking on Big Country. Bam Bam Bundy and Brandon White. I hope the ring was reinforced for this. I match. hope so. There's a lot of weight in yes. that ring, especially on one side. And Would that be where the referee is? Well, Jake Braddock tied up with Big Bam Bam Bundy. You know, Jake Braddock's a big guy, but he doesn't look too big next to Bam Bam. Well, he, he looks minuscule. And a double elbow from Bundy and Brandon White on Jake Braddock. Hey, that's probably not enough to pin the man. I, you know, those are two pretty big elbows. Yeah, but I mean. Um, I mean, um, 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 that's what I thought. Brandon White driving Jake Braddock's head into the turnbuckle. And now that running forearm and that Pele kick right to the side of the head. Wow, for someone that size, he can move. Oh, and Brandon White showing a little athleticism yeah. there. Maybe Bundy's been working with him. Yeah, well, it looks like it looks that way, doesn't it? It does. Oh, and well, so much for that. There's a jawbreaker. That's a big jaw to break. That, yes, it is. And you know, a Jake, jawbreaker is also a gobstopper. Maybe we could call that move the gobstopper. You know, that that might be the first intelligent thing you've said. Thank you. And Thank Daniel you. Nova driving a right hand to the side of the head of Big Brandon White. And there's a drop kick. Look, we've got we've got big guys in this ring, and they're all throwing drop kicks. And I I'm surprised as you are. Yeah. And Brandon White caught in that reverse chin lock. It looks like he's out of breath already. He's panting like a dog. Well, if you were that big, well, you're not that tall. But if you were that and big, I'm not and I, wearing overalls either. And, and I got a nice custom-made suit. Yeah, from Goodwill. At a New England Patriots tie, the defending world champions. That you got at Goodwill. Anyway. No, the tie I did not get at Goodwill. Oh, what a clothesline. Ooh, I think he's in trouble. It looks that way. The sellout, Daniel Nova, just catching that forearm and clothesline. How do you know he's a sellout? Maybe he bought in. Uh, you know, maybe he did sell out. I, maybe he bought in. I don't know. And now the tag to Bam Bam Bundy. And Jake Braddock. And Daniel Nova catching the right hands from Bundy. At least their chins are catching the right hands. And there's a blind tag. What? Oh, from Brandon White on Bundy. Well, we got and a vertical suplex and kind of a world's strongest slam. And oh, what in what the, the heck? What One, happened? to three. Oh, the winners of the match. Sell out Daniel Nova. I knew, Jack that, I knew that was going to happen. My money was on them. What in the world? I don't think he was happy that he got a blind tag. And now Bundy driving those right hands to Brandon White right here in the middle of the ring. What in the world is going on? Well, I think it's pretty obvious. Brandon White was trying to be a glory hog. He tagged himself back in when Bundy had the match in hand. He brought this on himself. And this is... You gotta be kidding me. Nope. Oh, look at the strength of Bundy. I was Bundy. just say that. Oh, big Bundy driver. And Brandon White is down. And out. I think Bundy won that war. And, well, I think he won it, but it, he last lost the match. Sometimes because he was tagging. You lose oh, the battle, you win the war. Do what you're told for once. Go do your job. 
What in the world is going on with you? There's only one me. Everybody tries to be me. There's only one Bam Bam Bundy, and he's back. With me now, the Star Twins for the Talk of Jackson, Tennessee, is Saturday night, June 1st. <laughs> Omen Arena, you guys are in the qualifying battle royal to see the last two contenders for that U.S. Heavyweight Championship. You know, something that me and Nathan know very well is heavyweight championships, tag team championships. You know, we've held the heavyweight championship quite a bit. Both of you have the singles titles. That's right, both of us have. Now, I have to say, during this battle royal, if it may come down to me and Nathan both, made the fair It'll be fair and may the best man win. But we both know one thing. We are going to be on the next level every other week. And what I mean by every other week is this. Me and Nathan have a bond that is stronger than anyone that USA has to offer. We are twins. We are identical. Not only that, we're looking to succeed for the better of 2019, Bert. Well, I must say, USA Wrestling is selling out crowds all over the place, and you two are usually in one of the main events. Hey, hey, Zach, hey, shut up. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Exactly what you just said. The Star Twins are the reason the shows are selling out. And that's exactly right. And that's the way it's going to be. Oh, hell no. You don't work here. Get him out of here, security. Get him out of here. Get him out. Get him Physically out of here. take him Why? out of here. He does Freedom not work speech. here. He doesn't work here. So neither do all these fans. Well, fans, here we go. Omega D taking on next level Josh Matthews right here on USA Championship Wrestling. So let me point out the obvious, since you obviously didn't catch it. The Star Twerps are sitting there talking about how, well, if it comes down to the two of us in the Battle Royal, then may the best man win, may this, may that. Does nobody listen around here except Lucky Pete Larson? The last two in the Battle Royal move on to the tournament, right? Absolutely. Therefore, it doesn't make a dip of difference who wins the Battle Royal as long as they're the final two, right? That would be absolutely correct. All right, so who the heck cares? Goodness gracious. Now, moving on. Josh Matthews over the top and back in on Omega. And Omega trying to cut him off, but Josh Matthews able to catch him with a bulldog, rolls him over, only a one count. I notice you don't want to talk about the fact that Bam Bam Bundy put you in your place, finally realizing Put that me was, in my place. Yeah, put you and all these stupid fans in Jackson, all these stupid redneck hicks in their own place because he realized that he's better than all of them and he doesn't need to put up with the stupid country crap, as he called it. Well, again, I don't know what's going on with Bundy. That just completely yeah, you don't, you don't understand what he did what to goes Brandon up. White. That's absolutely not true. Brandon White was a glory hog, a blind tag. Bundy didn't tag him. Did Bundy tag him, yes or no? No, Bundy okay. did not tag him. All right, so Brandon White interjected himself in the match. He deserved what he got. Well, Bundy, first off, when Bundy you're a tried team, to help you work him. together. Yeah, but that wasn't working together. That was going into business for himself. And... Well, it's called trying to win a match as a tag Bundy team. Bundy was doing fine on his own. He didn't need Brandon White's help. Omega D driving knees and forearms into the back of Josh Matthews. Yeah, it doesn't look like he's very much next level at the moment. Well, he can raise that level at any time. Yeah, but at the moment, he's on the bottom level. Well, then he only has up to go. So he's trying to get to the next level, is what you're saying. No, he is the next level. Well, he's up now. And Omega. Trying to hook the abdominal stretch. He's not and he, trying, he's got it. Well, he does now. Ring the bell, he just gave up. He did not give up. He did too, I heard him. Well, I don't know what you heard. I heard him say, I, I quit, I, it wait, hurts. I forget, I forget you're a lawyer. You hear a lot of things that aren't true. No, I hear what I hear. Yeah, exactly. You hear what you want to hear. No, I said I hear what I hear. And Omega locked it in, and now Josh Matthews. See, he's tapping. Look, May, he, he's tapping his foot. Well, tapping his foot. He's pushing his foot off. To See, he's hook. tapping again. Look at his hand. He's trying to tap. He he's not reach. tapping. He's trying to. Uh, would you take off those rosen-colored glasses and pay attention to what's going on in the ring? I am. I can see clearly now. You can see clearly with sunglasses the on rain, indoors. The rain is gone. 
Eh, well, I don't know how much rain's gone from your life. It's a song reference, my goodness. I know it's a song reference, you know. He pulled his hair. He and pulled his he hair did. to get out of that. He did. He did, absolutely, 100%. So disqualify and ring the bell. Why? Because he pulled his hair. That doesn't deserve a disqualification. Sure it does. Well, it's then. It's cheating. I would next, never cheat. The next time, what? I would never cheat. Okay. I'm like the New England Patriots, fair okay. and square. Yeah, you're. One, See a one count. You're square, all right, that's for sure. And fair. And you're like trying to put a round peg in a square hole. At least I have a peg. And well, There's a knee. That ain't what you, never mind. Uh-huh, there you go. We, we, we gotta keep this thing semi. Oh, there's Oh, a, nice knee uh, across the back. To, it was the, across the back of his neck. And See, now right back to. Right back to the stretch. He's screaming in pain. That's not exactly the stretch, because that would imply it's back to the abdominal stretch. This is more of an arm bar. Are you sure? Yes, pretty sure. Uh, well, you would, you would know about people like screaming in pain, that's for sure. Yeah, because usually they are when I'm done deposing them. Yeah, usually when they get done listening to you talk. Uh-huh. You're still here. Uh, that's only because I have to be. Unfortunately. Yeah, no. It is unfortunate for me, that's true. No, it's unfortunate for all the fans that have to listen to you. Hey, really, you're the one to be talking. That's right. Oh, Josh Matthews with a clothesline, and now a back elbow right to the point of the chin, and a drop kick, raising the air, and only a two count. Wouldn't that be raising the level? So we can, hey, call, been raising we can level. call next air Josh Matthews. Well, you can call him whatever you want. Oh, oh nice Omega. Russell, and he's got him up. And a torture round. Oh, oh, and a backbreaker. Oh, that hurt. Count to 100. See, and the winner again, of the match. Again, Lucky P. Larson calls it exactly as it is. With me now, a young man from Lexington, Kentucky, highly regarded. Let me tell you, you've been on the circuit a couple of weeks. You are burning it up. Alex Zane, ladies and gentlemen. That's right. I heard USA Championship Wrestling is the place to be. And that's why I'm here. Well, I know you're in that big battle royal on Saturday night, June 1st, for see who's going in the final two brackets to win that USA gold. That's what it's all about. I'm going for the gold. I'll see you June 1st. Well, I'll tell you what, folks, you're not going to want to change the channel. Wait till you see this kid in action right now. All right, Lucky, here we go. Alex May taking on Alex Zane. I have a prediction. Let's see. I, wait, 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 before you have a prediction. Yes. Let's see if I can read that little pea brain of yours. And you're gonna say that somebody named Alex is gonna win this match. Maybe I was going to come Look at that gator roll see, now, from Kid not, Wrestling. Now, wait a minute. You're not even giving me a chance. Maybe I was going to make a prediction that you were gonna remain bald for the rest of your life. Well, you're gonna remain ugly, so we're both gonna win on that one. No. And, oh, what a snap, Mayor. By Alex. By Alex Zane. And, a, and an arm drag by Alex. And, oh, an, an elbow. elbow. by Alex. Okay, let, let's try Another to. Another arm drag by Alex. Alex is back up. Are you sure? And, and a step over. A leap by Alex over Alex. And a drop kick right to the mouth by Alex Zane to Alex May. And Alex Zane. Alex couldn't get out of the way of himself there. Oh, <laughs> oh that was and pretty good. Nice takeover and a kick to the back. Ooh, he's so oh, standing. sending moonsault and only a two count. Because Alex kicked out of Alex's pit fall. Oh my gosh. Can you try to like help the people at home understand that this is Alex Zane versus Alex May? Well, you know, what, what I could do is just refer to one of them as Kid Wrestling. Well, which you could. Would make a whole lot more sense. But no, they didn't introduce him as that. You didn't introduce him as that. So I was waiting to see if you'd do your darn job. But once again, not. So I'll have to do it for you. Kid Wrestling, the one in the uh, unitard there, he's got. Oh, he ducked out of the way. You mean the now singlet and oh, a and belly to back suplex. But before the ref could get down from the count, he lifted it back up. Well, he's, he's still got the hands hooked. Yep. It goes for he's it again. The, uh, there's another uh, suplex. Is he going for the trifecta? I think he is. He's going for the third. Oh, and, and he's the, got bridge. the bridge. One, two, and, and only a two count. Because Alex Zayden kicked out of Kid Wrestling's Alex May. Yeah, but you see, I'm trying not to confuse the fans like you were doing. 
I, I'm going by what's on the sheet right so here. So can you not improvise? Are oh, you I that, could. Are you that rigid? Uh, Ooh, that was pretty good. I know sitting next to, all right, forget it. Katie <laughs> <laughs> mm. Lee, what? Uh, uh, creepy Uncle Pete, here we go again. And Alex Zane. He's pulling his hair too. And he was not, and Alex May able to hook into the front face lock and reverse it. And now, oh, ooh, look at that. I think a he's nice about submission to give up. hold. He's about to give up. He's about and to give up. That takes a lot of strength, Lucky, to bridge on your neck. He should be giving up. And no, he makes it over to the rope. That's because the ref didn't hear him give up first. To cause the break. And ooh. Alex May. But he's he's, he's turning up. into the Incredible Hulk. He's, he's yelling. Well, he's he's already slated to be in the first round of the tournament. Oh, and Alex Zane. That might help. Ducking the clothesline and catching Ooh. that kick upside the head it's of called Alex in, May. It's called an insecurity. I'm here to help you. Yeah, okay. He's up on the top rope. And kid wrestling is not moving. And oh, oh screw. Wow, that's it. What do you call that one, Lucky? Impressive. Impressive is right. 